All right, I thought I was overdue for a video on uh, the 3D printed vise, and uh, what better time than right after upgrading the sliding portion here? It's uh, obviously it's the red area. It's got now it has two nuts on either side, and it's significantly reduced the wobble. And uh, I think it's going to make it a heck of a lot stronger. I have not crushed anything yet with it. First, I'll show you it moving. That way. If you notice two things, one, I'm turning it counterclockwise to clamp, which is backwards from a regular vise. Uh, doesn't bother me too much. Um, this though is I'm having trouble gluing steel to plastic, so I'm just kind of, you know, hot glue was working pretty well. I'm just kind of ignoring that right now. But uh, let's see, I got Rotel can. Let's uh, let's take it easy first here. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Alright, we're off to a good start. Let's do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I think it can I think it can handle more. Let me get some safety glasses on here. Okay. No, the drill can't take it. All right. Come here. Uh oh. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, the bottom of a tin can's pretty tough. Pleasantly surprised this thing hasn't exploded in my face. Maybe I better stop before it does. I mean, should be enough poop here to move it. Go so, axial load. Take that, Rotel. Spicy, delicious tomatoes. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> well, it works. I'm satisfied. By the way, it was printed with ABS. I spray painted it all gray. Don't do that. It was messy. Just leave it whatever color you're using. And then uh, uh, I went 30% infill. I hot glued the metal on. Uh, the, yeah, that's, that's all the details.